Hi friends, here is a great question to ask church leaders. The Seventh-day Adventist Church says here that we should be concerned about the widespread practice of FGM. Now, the Adventist Church has claimed for decades that killing unborn children by abortion is a matter of religious freedom. Even Ted Wilson affirmed this publicly on multiple occasions. However, with the advances in fetal surgery that allow procedures to be performed on the unborn, we need to ask the question, is FGM inside the womb also a religious freedom? How can we be told to oppose mutilating the genitals of a little girl while at the same time we are told that it's a religious liberty to mutilate not only the genitals but the entire body of that exact same girl? If the pregnant mother lives in a culture where FGM is common, the church says that we should oppose, we should oppose her doing this. But if the pregnant mother wants to deliberately mutilate the entire child's body until they die, then that's, quote, religious freedom. How can this be? And I will give you proof. I will prove to you right now that church leaders are not telling the truth. Please read this with me. In some cultures, FGM is defended as a form of what? Of religious practice. While Adventists strongly advocate protection of religious liberty, Adventists believe that the right to practice one's religion does not vindicate harming another person thus appeals to religious liberty do not. See that there? They do not justify FGM. There it is right there in black and white. The Adventist church leadership fully understand. They know full well that religious liberty does not apply to hurting a little child unless they claim unless that child is in the mother's womb. FGM is practiced mostly in cultures in Africa and is spreading across the world because of increased migration. Notice the obscene hypocrisy when cultures in Africa practice FGM, the Adventist Church comes out with loud, strong, bold statements condemning this and openly denounces and rejects any claim of religious liberty. But when the Americans defend violently mutilating this little girl's body, no condemnation whatsoever. You notice that? Even top church leaders like President Ted Wilson affirmed that yes, violently mutilating a little girl's body until she is dead is religious freedom. When the African do it. Oh, that's so evil. That's so satanic. But when the Americans do it and kill that little girl, oh, that's religious liberty and freedom. You may remember a while back I published in my previous video pointing out how when the Africans in Rwanda killed thousands of innocent people in an Adventist hospital, the North Americans and the GC were so quick to publicly and loudly shame them and condemn them. But when the Americans, when the Americans have killed tens of thousands of innocent little children in Adventist hospitals, no condemnation whatsoever. You notice that? In fact, it was the opposite. They were defended. To those of you watching this video, take a moment to imagine the outrage if Edward Allred were from Africa. Suppose that Allred boasted of performing FGM on 250,000 little girls and an Adventist university there hailed him as an example forever. We would literally see volcanoes exploding in NAD and GC. They would be beside themselves with rage and fury, foaming at the mouth. But when Loma Linda and La Sierra do this, we hear nothing. You notice that? Ted Wilson won't even say one word. The Africans get condemned constantly and the Americans always get a pass. You notice that? The Adventist Church treats Africans and North Americans completely different totally different standards. Now, I'm not an African, but if I were, I would be really upset. I'm already upset, but if I were an African, there's no way, there's no way I would sit down and be quiet. I would not let these Americans condemn problems in my culture while they openly celebrate something far worse. This is wrong and it is evil. If I were an African, you better believe that Ted Wilson's office would hear from me. This is disgusting and it is evil. So let me end this video on a positive note with a solution, something that we can do, you watching this video and I, something we can do. Notice it says here, the right to practice one's religion does not vindicate harming another what? Another person. It is imperative that those of you watching this video, please contact church leaders, especially Ted Wilson's office, and ask them why our official books, What Adventists Believe, and our official dictionary all deny that the unborn child is a living human being. These are the 
the official books for the church, and they deny the humanity of the unborn child. This claim that you are not alive until after you are born is wrong, and it is pagan. Both the Old and New Testaments, the authors of the Bible consistently affirmed that the unborn are living human children and are therefore under the protection of the Sixth Commandment. This falsehood that the unborn are not living human beings, uh, go ahead and guess, between the Africans and Americans, go ahead and guess who brought this pagan belief into our church. That's right, the Americans. And I'm so sick and tired of our church being bullied. This is wrong, and we need to stand up for Jesus and challenge the official teaching about the humanity of these children. So please contact contact Ted Wilson's office and ask him respectfully but firmly and clearly ask him why our official books teach that the unborn child is not a living human being. Ask him why our teachings contradict the scriptures. This is the weakness. This is the Achilles heel. Again, please do not say the word abortion or hospitals. You don't even need to do that. Please do something great for Jesus today and contact Ted Wilson's office and ask why this error is in our official books. Ask why we are contradicting the scriptures. And when you send an email or make a phone call or send a letter, be sure, my friends, to take a minute to pray before you do so and pray that God will notice your efforts and that he will hold his church leaders accountable to fix this problem. Please see down below for more information. Thank you for watching.